Hi, hello there. It is currently Monday afternoon and I would just like to welcome you all to my final week as a foreign student in Japan. Well, I'm not gonna be leaving Japan just yet. It is very strange to think about that today was actually my final day of proper class. This also means that I have final exams coming up starting tomorrow, which is the hardest day since I have listening, vocabulary and kanji going on all on the same day, so wish me luck for that. I actually skipped filming last week because I've been studying for the entire week so I didn't think it would make for an interesting video, but I will be filming this week because you will have a little bit of studying today and tomorrow. And then my sister's coming to visit tomorrow, so the one day before I finish my exams, and we're gonna be traveling together for a little while. So hopefully this will be a fairly exciting video that doesn't entirely consist of study time lapses. But today will basically be a study time lapse for the entire day, so let's go study together. I'm gonna be honest here, yeah, it's not going great at the minute. I'm basically done studying for the vocabulary test and I'm done practicing listening. But my candy flashcard set basically says that I have 700 left to revise before tomorrow, so that's just not gonna happen. I'm going to try and push myself for another hour and do as many candy as I can in an hour. And then that's it. I am done. It's only six, but I'm going to bed. I, I'm not going to bed, but I'm gonna do something fun. So I guess that's the hardest day of tests done. I was surprised by both tests. The listening surprised me because of how hard it was and the vocabulary and candy surprised me for being too easy. So I guess I'm gonna get about the grade I expected just the wrong way around. It's just getting on for midday at the minute because I finished my tests early, but I have a lot of errands to be running today because my sister's coming to visit, which I'm super excited about. She has been on a flight since about yesterday, midday my time, so 24 hours now, and he'll be arriving in a couple of hours, so I need to make sure I get all my spelling done before he gets here, ideally, but also do laundry and cleaning and cooking and just be ready so that my room doesn't look like I've been studying in it non-stop for three weeks straight, which is what it looks like now, so wish me luck. Describe your flight in three words. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Tons of food. <laughs> <laughs> Too much food. Other time, three words are masks and scary, proud, no Netflix. Yeah. Well, there we have it. Your flight in nine words. Yep. <laughs> just finished my final sort of exams in Japan and also look at here. I need to go do some paperwork in town so on the way to that we're gonna feed her her first ramen which is gonna be vegan ramen because Chrissy doesn't eat any meat, do you? Are you excited for vegan ramen? Yes, I'm very afraid to leave the house. <laughs> I am freezing. It's also raining so wish us luck! Woo!
Chris is about to dry a sakura mochi for the first time. How are you feeling about the sakura mochi? A little bit scared. It does look like a tiny pink monster. But I'm sure it would be a nice monster. But I don't know if it's a nice tasty monster. I'm just very confused. What's the thing inside? Some form of sakura cream? Or is it beans? Oh, is it red bean paste? Okay, like it's definitely way too thinking that you don't really know what it is. I bet it's okay, I think. It's quite sugary. Out of 10? Uh, 7? You're wrong, it's 9.5. excited to be in my video this morning. Um, she seems to be all over her jet lag and her normal personality again. Yeah, she's no longer I'm good. Me. I'm good. And I have a dragon t-shirt, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot of energy when she's not jet lagged. Okay, so yesterday I spent most of the day doing moving out stuff. My friends came over and helped me move my furniture out, by which I mean one of my friends helped me move my furniture out while the others played with the trolley. Um, and I just did some general tidying and cleaning while Chrissy was in Nara by herself and nearly got lost. Yeah, that was quite my attention. Did lost. I did get lost. Lose. What? Yes. Um, although I had no phone, uh, battery on my phone. So yeah, it was just me and the camera and the map, which I luckily found at some point. Um, but it was fun. It was you can hear the full story in Chrissy's brand new YouTube channel, which I will be telling her to make. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But today we're on the way to Fushiminari, which I'm super excited about because it's actually sunny today. So, it's a three hour hike. Um, do you know what Fushiminari is? It's the orange thing. So far she's been referring to it as the <laughs> orange temple. Um, I have corrected her multiple times saying not technically a temple. Although there is a temple on the top of the mountain which I haven't been to yet. Could do that. Okay. But it is a hike up a mountain with a whole bunch of Tory gates, which were donated by different companies. And cool. they are all the way up the mountain, around this nice path, which takes three hours to do. So we're going to be doing that today. We have a lunch ready, we have our watercolors ready, and we're going to get going. Bye!
Saturday and we did Vision Nelly yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. It was Chrissy's first time, so her impression was that it was actually quite busy. But my impression was that it was incredibly peaceful and lovely. It is insane how much of a difference there was compared to last time I went there. We could actually walk and not bump <laughs> into people. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we're going to try luck today again at another normally very crowded destination, being Arahiyama. What do you know about Arahiyama? And this bamboo forest. And we're gonna rent kimonos. Um, but I don't know anything else. We are going to a famous temple, which name I have forgotten. And we are going to check out the kimono forest near the station. Kimono forest. Kimono forest. Never done kimono rental before, so very excited and terrified. Hopefully it will go well. Mm -hmm. 